we are uh, doing a donation deck, as you can see. Well, we're playing modern, so you can kind of assume at that point that I'm doing a donation deck. So that is what we're doing today. A little bit of lantern. Shoutouts to Soraya, who we actually, the last time, we did a donation deck previously for Lantern, which we did 5-0 with. So maybe we can run it back. A couple of small changes. We added a breach to this deck, but I mean, by and large, it's it's pretty much the same thing. Mm. The thing about Gigantha is you don't really ever want to put Gigantha in your hand with Bridge. Like, it's just actively bad to have more cards in your hand most of the time. And if your primary game plan is Ensnaring Bridge, it's just never going to come up. So, I think this is, like, the one exception where it's okay to not play Gigantha. <clears throat> like, imagine a scenario where you don't have Bridge in hand, and you don't have anything to do. And you're like, okay, I'll just pick up Gigantha, it'll be fine. And then, you know, two turns later, you draw a Bridge, and you just have one extra card in your hand for no reason. I don't know. You could see it, but... <clears throat> What's up, JS? How you doing, buddy? Working a basketball game right now? Gotcha, gotcha. But yeah, this is Lantern. I mean, it's Lantern of Insight, Codex Shredder to, you know, see what your opponent's drawing, mill their good cards, you have thought to use Inquisition to get full information, uh, and then you have a plethora of Urza Saga targets, the Lanterns, the Shredders, two, na two main deck needles, and then, like, Desk, if you need more cards, Pixis is your fifth Shredder, Cookbook if you need to get Hellbent for Bridge, and then Lantern for some main deck Graveyard Hate, uh, Stirrings to find Bridge, Bobble. Bobble's kind of cool with Shredder, because you can kind of do the Bobble fetch land trick, where you bobble your top card, even if you don't have a Lantern in play, but if you have Shredder, and the card's bad, then you can just mill it, so that's kind of cool. Uh, we're try Again, we're trying one Breach in this deck. I don't, I don't really know if Breach is actually that good, but, I mean, it's good in every deck, so can't be that bad. And then Prismatic Ending is our removal spell of choice, just to answer the widest range of things at the most efficient mana value. It's kind of the idea there. Uh, and then sideboard, we got some more Urza Saga targets like Welding Jar, Cage, Needle, Relic, Shadow Spear, uh, a couple of spell skates, a Stone Brain, a Chalice, a Kaya, two Surgical, and two Fatal Push. So went to an RCQ a month ago that had three Lantern players. That is, that's a lot more than I would expect, to say the least. <clears throat> I mean, there are plenty of people who played Lantern back in the day that are just trying to relive those glory days, you know? This deck used to be good. Back when we had Mox Opal, it was like a fixture of the format. I mean, I, I think there were at some points in Modern where it was like one of, if not the best deck. Right? What do I think of the new Tivar? I think this card, the, I think the new Tivar is sick. Let me put it up on screen for those of you who haven't seen it yet. Uh, this hand's good. Keep this. <clears throat> yeah, I, I think it's the best Planeswalker spoiled by far. So far, at least. You know, maybe we'll get something better, but... Is it really still bugged? Surely they will fix that at some point. Alright, question. Do I lead on Shredder? Or do I lead on Ancient Stirrings? I think I'm going to lead on Shredder, because I can do the Shredder Bobble trick. I really want to fight a discard spell. Okay, go. Checked last week, so it's been bugged for, what, three, three months now, I think? And I mean, there have been people who have filed bug reports, so... Apparently, they just don't care about us kitten players. All right, big shreds. Whose shredder is better? Nissa spoiled? Was it, like, just spoiled recently? <clears throat> Bobble myself. Lantern of Insight. I think I will draw that one. Uh, do I just start milling them? Could turn on Delirium. I'm actually not going to do that. So I think what I'm going to do is draw the Lantern, but Prismatic Ending the Shredder. Just just not cast the Lantern this turn. Draw step two. Yeah, let's just kill the Shredder right now. White, black. I think it's worth just doing this. Could maybe be worse if they have Ragavan, but... Yeah, just just Shredder, Shredder Tribal. Cavern. If I Cavern on Shredder, I should be allowed to cast Codex Shredder uncounterable. Made so it has two Phyrexian mana symbols. So it's five mana and four life. But then it only comes into play with three loyalty for five mana. Plus one make an XX, so make a 3-3. Three, three. Minus one naturalize. Minus seven. This is just worse than Vivian Reed. Like, by a lot, right? I think I'd rather draw a card than make a 3-3, three, three, especially on turn five. Uh, 
I guess I can mill myself in the, in the blind, because putting cards in my graveyard for breach could be good. Uh, okay, now that I've drawn a second bridge, I think I'm just going to slam the first one. If they have spell pierce, it sucks, but like getting this into play game one, I think it's just game over. But we have, we have a second one too, so it's like not even that big of a deal if they have pierce. Yeah, it's a mythic rare too. That card's horrible. It's so bad. This has to be torture. Are you talking about the the league, Mikey? No, I mean honestly, like I played it. I've this is not the first time that I've played Atlanta Dona League. It was honestly kind of like refreshing. <laughs> I I enjoy doing this more than playing most of the other decks in Modern. To be fair, like this is more enjoyable for me. Might not be for my opponent, but I don't give a shit. I'm just trying to have fun. All right, so let's go like stirrings. Try to hit a land that we can go like Inquisition Lantern Needle. Oh, perfect. The best land. Do I even needle? <clears throat> Borrower, Shredder, Pierce, Heat. I mean, I kind of don't want to take the Pierce, because if I just draw land, I can play around Pierce anyways. So I think I should just take the Borrower, because that is... Ooh, they can counter the Lantern with Pierce, though. Maybe I can bait. Uh, I'm just not going to do anything. Uh, I guess I named Scalding Tarn. Seemed like they were up six. Sick. Give me my expectations for tonight, too. Uh, Dallas. Mm, what's the final score going to be? Dallas 24, Tampa 17. I'll go with that. Okay, I think I'd rather have the bridge in the graveyard. Well, I already have a bridge in the graveyard, and it is a blank off of the Ragavan, so no, I guess I'll keep the bridge on top. Do they have a Pierce? Yeah, they do. But they, they were f 6 <laughs> Look, you know, I, I don't really... I, it, my opponent's probably not having a good time, but I am. I, don't, I could care less if my opponent's having a good time. That's not what I'm here for. Give two subs if Dallas wins? Well, get the, get the wall ready then. Okay, so we're really just looking for a land to play around the Pierce. I also don't even need the Shredder at this point. It's possible that I was supposed to take the Pierce last turn, but see, it's too easy. I mean, I think we lose if they drew a counterspell, but if not, then we're probably fine. Did they draw a counterspell? I feel like we knew what they were drawing. I didn't. I don't. I didn't pay attention though. We might have known what they drew. Okay. Well, unless they have a second bar where they're dead. I think I'll just let them draw iteration. Yeah, you can have a counterspell. I guess they could iterate into an out, but if they bounce the bridge right now, it's not even lethal. It's only 11, right? So what do we know is in their hand? We know they have Pierce Heat and one unknown. Or, yeah, yeah, one unknown. Which I should know, but my I, I was covering it the turn that I, uh, yeah. They could have Odawara. They could, yeah. I could have named Odawara with Needle. Didn't think about that. But I could just name Odawara with the Saga Needle, right? Yeah, I'll do that, because I have a second Needle. So I'll just name, I'll just name Odawara with that Needle. They have a Tarn on top, which I want them to draw. And I want to draw the Cookbook, I think. So let's just make a mana. Needle, Odawara. And play Cookbook. And I think that should be game. I can draw the Tarn all they want. I don't really care. So the last two cards are Pierce Heat. They discarded Heat, so they still have Pierce. <clears throat> I wasn't paying attention. What did they fetch into? Shit. <laughs> I was looking at chat. <laughs> uh, I kind of want to draw the Pixis. We'll just take a draw step. Yeah, I just wasn't paying attention at all. Did I see Become Immense 1 again in Rhinos? Yeah, I did. I'm kind of surprised they're playing this out. I wonder if they even have outs. Yeah, it doesn't even matter. Sick. Chat, are we having fun? This is how I have fun in Modern. I make everybody else miserable. If I Here's, here's, my, here's my thing, okay? If I can't have fun... Nobody has fun. That's my uh, that's my tagline. Put it on my tombstone. All right, what do you want against Murktide? Maybe Jar, probably not Cage. I don't know if I want a third Needle. I already have two. Uh, you only want Chal- You can't Chalice on a one in this deck. Stone Brain sucks. Spell Sky could be okay. Shadow Spear seems mid. Relic could be okay. I don't know. It's like, I, don't, I never know how to sideboard with this deck. There's a lot of cards that could be reasonable, but... Deck throws for positive yardage just less than four interceptions. You're asking for a lot, Dollar Bill. I don't know if I want push. 
I guess it answers Ragavan. But, like, do I have any bad cards? Maybe I want to cut the Breach? I don't know. I kind of want to keep the Breach and just see how good it is. I just, I don't know what's bad. <laughs> Nothing seems bad in this deck. <clears throat> want three Needle? Cause we, yeah, that's true. We want to be able to name Explosives. Do we need this Lantern? How much do we really care about the Graveyard? Like, it stops Murktide, but I don't really care that much about Murktide, I think. Could also maybe cut the Cookbook. But I just like having access to it if you need to get help in. Cut Talisman, maybe. And Trim on Discard. But I like Discard being able to take counter spells. Oh yeah, it, it seems like a bad matchup for Murktide, for sure. So I could Shave a Bobble if I wanted to have, like, a push. Let's just cut the Breach. I don't know if I'm supposed to, but let's cut the Breach. I just want to have Max Hands just to Ragavan. Seems like that's the card that they can steal games with. Because they could, like, Ragavan into Ending, and then Ending my shit. There's not a lot I could do about Brotherhood's End, though, right? Like, I don't have things that regenerate all of my artifacts. I just have Jar that regenerates one. That's probably not going to save me from Brotherhood's End. So this hand is Lantern, Shredder, and Needle. And then I have Talisman for Inquisition. Definitely keep this. A little weak to Ragavan, but... Yeah, I agree. I don't, I don't really think I need Soul Guide. I think that's mostly just there for, like, fast graveyard decks, Living End and Breach. But you're not... I don't think you want it against the fair graveyard decks like Murktide. Which one would I rather have Spell Pierced? Assuming one of them gets countered. Probably, honestly, the Shredder. I think the Lantern's more valuable. Okay. I mean, if they don't have Pierce, playing Lantern is higher upside... Because I get to, you know, start getting the information now, but... It's like, I'm gonna have an Inquisition, so I'm gonna have the information when I need it. Yeah, we also have more Shredder effects. Well, it's only, it's five versus four. We only have, we only have five Shredders. We have one Pixis. Should've mailed myself. So I think I'm just gonna go... That's interesting. Now I could just Inquisition plus Lantern this turn, which I think is better than playing Talisman. Because if I play Talisman and they have a discard spell, I kind of just get time locked. I guess this is worse if they have two counter spells, but then I could maybe like needle and then try to lantern next turn to play around Pierce. Uh well I'm pretty sure I just take iteration. The needle explosives. Sure, that's fine. I accept. So they can't even really play the shredder. Again, I'm just going to build myself in the dark. I'm going to play the Talisman first without playing a land. Trying to bait the counterspell. So if they counter it, I can slam the Lantern. They didn't say what color sword it was, though, right? I would I would assume it's probably red-green. Um, So I guess we can play the Lantern this turn and then upkeep Academy Ruins. Which is probably fine, right? Like, they're going to counter it, but we just have the Academy Ruins. This card is so backbreaking against them. <laughs> It's just like the Sword of Mars teaser. Yeah, no, yeah, they didn't say what he didn't say what colors it was, but you can kind of infer like what what haven't they done, right? Is Gruel the only one they haven't done yet? I feel like there's maybe more, but so they're drawing a Tarn. I think I'll let them draw a Tarn. Because I would rather mill myself and try to look for try to look for a bridge. I think that's more important. Blue black. Yeah, I guess we haven't gotten blue black yet. <clears throat> Destroy target lane is controlling may search the library for a basic land card draw card. Do they put the basic into play into play or put it in their hand? Okay, so I want to mill myself. Thoughtseize. Is Thoughtseize good? They have a Ragavan on top. Just need to find bridge as quickly as possible, right? Do I have enough to ruins? I have exactly enough mana to upkeep ruins and then play bridge. Because if I if I draw a bridge, they're gonna counter it. But then I would have enough to end step the ruins. So they also have a braid too, which is kind of an issue. Thoughtseize is kind of bad. I draw Thoughtseize. I take one of the I get I get one of the answers to bridge out of their hand. They still have a second one. I'm just gonna mill myself. It's kind of close. Okay. It's not bad. So we can play bridge. They counter it, or abrade it, or something to it. But I can rebuy the bridge twice. So 
and I'm in the process only taking hypothetically 12 damage if they flip the Channeler, because they can dash the Ragavan, flip Channeler, that's 12 over the course of two turns. I have to play the Besage though, just in case, because they're going to end of turn a Braid, and I want to be able to untap and ruins the bridge back. <clears throat> Did not cast end of turn a Braid. What swords are there currently? I think there's every sword but red, green, and blue, black. I think they've I think they've done every other color. Okay, Delta on top. Yeah, I don't want to cycle lantern. Bolt's fine. They played the shredders. So we know they have counter spell braid. Blue black sword would be kind of lame. I think I'm gonna bin the swamp, looking for bridge or shredder. Bolting me. Okay. They have tarn. I guess I'll let them bin that. They kept the turn on top, okay. Curse. Mm. I might have to mill that. The hearse fucks the hearse fucks up the Academy Ruins. I guess I can just ruins back needle. Yeah, I can just ruins back needle. And the needle hearse. The only problem with doing that is then they can abrade the needle and then hearse messes up the ruins. They're abrading the needle. They're not abrading the bridge, right? So, I think that's okay. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep this on top. Yeah, I'll just draw the needle. Yeah, needle's fine. Name hearse. Fetch in response. Okay. I guess I could name explosives instead. Now that they've shuffled away the hearse. What cards, what cards do they usually have more copies of? Hearse or, or Explosives? I want to say Explosives, right? Yeah, I'm just going to name Explosives. Usually two of each. Okay. Certainly don't care about them drawing Murktide. That's fine. AE is way worse for us. Not necessarily, because we know they have a Braid. So if they if they do have Hearse or find Hearse, they can abraid the bridge and then Hearse. And then, because I can't get it back with Ruins. So, I'm not... I mean, I guess Explosives is... We probably lose the game to either of them. But we can maybe beat... Uh, we can maybe beat Hearse. We almost certainly can't beat Explosives. Maybe. It's possible that that's what that means. I'm gonna shred their counterspell. I could also just top the other needle, right? I think I don't want them drawing counterspell. Maybe I just let them draw counterspell and try to find, like, a... Uh, wait, did I board in Welding Jar? I guess I just want a second bridge at that point, right? I didn't bring in Jar. Maybe I just don't care about them countering me. Okay. It's kind of a brick. I'm going to mill myself again, though. Okay. Not really ideal. 6, 9, 11. They're kind of close to having lethal. There's a bridge on top, which is not awful. I'm going to let them draw the counter spell. I guess I could sack Lantern. Okay, they're going to abrade the bridge. See if they keep the counterspell on top. Oh, are we just locked out now? Because they just go attack for 11, and then they have counterspell after I put the bridge on top, or just draw the second bridge, right? I think I'm just locked out. I think I'm going to screw this up. Maybe I'm supposed to take the abrade with the Inquisition. Hmm. I could have done that differently. Yeah, well, I can sack the lantern to shuffle the abrade away, but I just don't, I don't think I have any outs. Because I'm just dead over the course of two turns. So I think where I messed up was taking the iter... What did I take with the Inquisition? I took Iteration, right? Yeah, I think I was supposed to let them have the Iteration and just take the Abrade. Because that was the scariest card for me. I'm going to bring in a Jar, for sure. Uh, I don't know if I want this desk. Let's try this. <clears throat> I have a second Jar. They have multiple Abrades. Let's cut the Cookbook. Nah, let's just cut more Bobbles, actually. Keep the desk. Bubble's not even that great in this deck. I have double bridged on my turn. Their EOT, my ruins back the bridge they abraded. No cards in hand. So they just go end step abrade, untap, attack for 11, and then I have no cards, and I can only draw the one bridge. I can't draw both bridges. Ruins puts it on top. Ah, uh, if Ruins put it in your hand? Jeez. That card would be broken. Imagine. Alright, play first. Yeah, I should have just taken the abrade. This hand's very good. What's up, Soraya? We're going to game three against Murktide. I think I messed up last game. Yeah, chill vibes today. Some low fi I think I lead on... Oh, what do you lead on here? Type seven. 
38-3 now. 24-17 Dallas. I kind of want to lead on Thoughtseize. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Ragavan, Hearst, Bolt, Counterspell, Murktide. Well, we have push for Ragavan. So, and I don't care about Murktide. So it's Hearst, Bolt, Counterspell. I certainly don't care about Bolt. What's more annoying, Hearst or Counterspell? I think Counterspell. I, I, like, the Hearst is annoying, but I can eventually get a Needle for it. And it really, the only thing that it does is stops Ruins, which I don't even have at this point, so. But the exact score for you, if I hit it, I'll do it a sub. Somebody's already going to gift too if the Cowboys win, so. It's going to be a good Tuesday, let me tell you. Why do they have Hearst? Because we had Ruins. But I don't even know if that's worth it. Maybe they just have enough bad cards. All right, song request from Yalboski. Yalboski said it was a chill song, which I'm down for. I'm down for the chill vibes today. All right, in the queue. So we just go Lantern, take a peek. Spell Pure is a good one to know about. Thoughtsies is good, though. And then I'm just going to push now. So... Now they have Pierce. I'm just going to write down here the cards that I know about. So I'll forget otherwise. We need like a, a Google spreadsheet to play this deck. <laughs> oh, I didn't make any changes. Play it as it lies. Of an iteration. Well, they're going to be shuffling, so. We don't know they have an iteration. The Ragavan's kind of annoying. Oh. So that was the one unknown card that we now know they had. Oh my god, they get to they get to hit the Thoughtseize too? Uh, oh man. Fun card. Just debating if I want to sack the Lantern just to shuffle the Thoughtseize. I don't think I do. It is what it is. 24-21. I'm thinking 24-17. That's, that's the vibe that I get. And that's kind of a brick. Ragavan! Good card! Good card! Good card! Good card! Good card! Good card! <laughs> Such a frustrating card. Cowboys favored? You would think so, but I mean, it is Tom Brady in the playoffs we're talking about, so... Gonna hold up Spell Beers. Uh, I'm not gonna sack the lantern just to get rid of the courtyard. Yeah, that's like kind of a thing. Can play around Spell Beers. You know they have a backup Ragavan and now a Channeler. So Pierce, Rag, Channeler. <coughs> oh, they're gonna hit the stirrings. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I know. I don't have Lava Dart. Yeah, that's kind of a brick. I fucking hate this card so much. It's such a stupid card. Why? Can somebody explain to me why this card got printed? I just, I don't understand. What the fuck were they thinking? It is mind boggling. You would think it being banned in Legacy is a sign that it probably should go in Modern, but then test it, obviously. Bolt, Ragavan, Pierce, Murktide. Well, I don't really care about the Pierce. Right? Yeah, I should probably take the Bolt. And then hold the land. I'm gonna hit my fucking Prismatic ending. <laughs> I'm just kind of ending my Lantern. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so fucking awful. I just want to, like, burn every single copy of Ragavan ever ex that in existence. What a stupid card. <laughs> it's so dumb. <clears throat> you win. <laughs> you win. <clears throat> Can you keep one for your EDH deck? No. Because the card's an abomination. Gigantha probably means Ragavan. Uh, just casual breach in the opener. Kind of a weird one. Yeah, here's what I want you to do. If you hate Ragavan, gift a sub. Or Twitch Prime. How's that? Show me how much you hate Ragavan. What are we breaching? Mm, I don't know. We'll figure it out. There's only one breach in the deck. It's like a Miser's Ancient Stirring. Is this Tron? Or this is that weird Spike deck. They have Karn the Great Creator. Probably not a good matchup for us. What if you love Ragavan? Then, I don't know, it's fine. You can love what you love. I'm just wondering if there are people in chat that hate Ragavan. It's not the mirror. This is that weird... I think it's that weird Spike Anvil deck or whatever. Like, why does it have Dash? Can they... Can, like, it shouldn't have Dash, right? 
I think I'd honestly be fine with it if you couldn't just pay two mana to haste it. I think that's the most, like, egregious part of it. It should not have dash. Like, as as a one-drop, it would be obviously a very pushed one-drop, but, like, I just, I don't think it should have dash. I think that's the, it's the one thing that pisses me off the most about it. Yeah, two power, two. Make it like a one-one or a one-two or something. <clears throat> it's just the combination of everything. It's just way too much. The card snowballs out of control so quickly. Should restrict it so you can only have a dash of it in your deck list. Ooh. Yeah, I know, Kurt Roast. I'm, I'm super hyped for Tivar. I cannot wait to play some Pioneer Elves with it. I mean, the thing is, is like, I, I'm fine with pushed answers. Like, Prismatic Ending, Unholy Heat, Lane Line Binding. I'm fine with those. The cards that I'm not fine with are the Snowball Threats, Ragavan, Ren and Six, and then the Free Spells. Because there are ways to introduce interaction into the format that does not involve letting you pay zero mana for your spell. Like, you should not be able to play a one-drop and still hold up a Solitude or a Fury or something. You know what I mean? And it's just like... That's the, I think that's, you know, that that is, I think, my biggest criticism of Modern is Ragavan, Red and Six, the Snowball-type threats, and the free spells. There it is. You want my honest opinion? You now have it. Ban Ren, ban Ragavan, ban the Elementals, then we can talk. Uh, I guess I Stirrings here? Dishonest opinion? A dishonest opinion is that Modern is great. Hey, speaking of which, what am I taking here? Spike, thank you for the raid, buddy. Welcome, everybody, from Aspiring Spike's stream. We're play I'm playing Spike's favorite deck right now. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for the follows. Um, I mean, I kind of want a white source, but at the same time, I kind of want to take Lantern. This is close. Good old stick Shredder. I don't even, I don't know, man. Take Talisman. Uh, I'm just going to take Lantern. Peak. We have a map. Mm -mm. You think Modern would be in a better place if Monkey and Ren were different colors? I just think that they have too much text. Like, Ragavan should not have haste. Ren and Six should be like a minus one to get back to land. I don't, I don't know. There's, there's a lot of things they could do differently, but... Shouting out himself. Thanks again for the raid, buddy. Um, I guess we kill the map. This matchup is like unwinnable for Lantern, right? Oh, I have to play the the Lantern first. Pretty sure this matchup is like stone cold unwinnable for me, but I have that too. I could sack the Lantern so that they don't draw Karn. I honestly probably have to because <laughs> I can't beat Karn. <laughs> Has Lantern reignited my passion for the format yet? No. So here's the thing, right? The joke is that I, n I don't have fun playing Modern, so the only enjoyment I get is making everybody else miserable. That's the that's the goal today. Just make everybody as miserable as possible. Make them feel my pain and suffering. I guess we can try to go Saga Beatdowns, which means I probably shouldn't play the bridge. It's like actively bad to have it in my hand if the only way I can win is Saga. I could besage you them. Yeah, let's just besage you one of their lands. Draw step. Why does that drive me? I don't know. If I can't, here's here's the thing. If I can't have fun, nobody else will. <laughs> I mean, that's what you you need to get into that mindset to become a lantern player. You know. <clears throat> well, here the other thing is the so the idea is that if nobody if I make all of my opponents miserable, people will stop playing modern. That's the idea. Is that how that works? The villain we deserve, yeah. I, I'm, I am now the Joker. Joker arc starts today. This is a sick take. What did, what did Emma type? Wait, what? Oh, I thought, I thought it was just like them reprinting Path to Exile. Shit, I can't beat Gigantha. <clears throat> How do I beat Gigantha? Just dobs to it. All right, let's. Uh, I even make a homie. Could make a homie and thoughtsies them. It's probably fine. Can't make a ho can't make two homies this turn, but uh, could needle something else. Probably O stone. That'd be fine. Yeah, needle O stone. Could also need a blast zone though. Hmm. They actually have more access to blast zone with Sylvan Scrying, so I think I'm actually gonna name blast zone. Because I can always thought tease. I could thought tease O stone if they have it. 
So we can't attack this turn, but we can start attacking next turn, which is nice. Mm -hmm. Is it a hot take that I really enjoy modern right now? No, I mean, it, a lot of people enjoy it. I'm not saying that your opinion is wrong. I'm just... People ask me all the time as a content creator and a streamer what my opinion is on the format, and I'm just giving you my opinion. I'm not saying that you're wrong. I'm not saying that I'm right. It's just, this is my opinion. They found the O-Stone, which is kind of unfortunate. Opinions are like assholes. Everybody has one. You know? Hmm. Well, I don't think I can beat the O-Stone. <laughs> What's my preferred format? I, I enjoy the gameplay in Pioneer a lot. I think Pioneer is in an amazing spot right now. Unfortunately, don't have a third needle. <clears throat> hmm. Do have any way out of this? I really think so. If you don't share her opinion, I can accept you as a human being. Sure, that's fair. You just gotta subscribe to the channel. That's that's how it is. That's how I get you. What's my favorite deck in Pioneer? I've been liking the Gruel Vehicles deck a lot. Man, how do I win? I guess I named the wrong card, huh? Get a little punished. Guess we're gonna get Bobble if the Ostone's gonna get popped anyways. I mean, we have Breach, which is maybe something. I think naming zone was correct. I, I do too. They have more copies of Blastone in their deck, right? Between like Sylvan Scrying and Blastone itself. Like, I'm not saying that I was incorrect to name Blastone. I'm just saying that I got massively punished for it. You know. I'm pretty sure I, I'm pretty sure I took the right line. Yeah, them drawing Karn's bad too. I don't think we can actually beat Karn. I think we are just straight up dead to it. So we draw a discard spell. I guess I can reach back the Thoughtseize. It's a rough way to go about it, but so they pop the O Stone. I like how they float Gigant the Mana first. <laughs> As if they could do anything with the Gigant the Mana in combat. Classic. Yeah, I think the new Nissa's pretty bad. Okay, so I can go... How many cards in my graveyard do I have? Because I, I have to play the Shredder before the Breach, because I need red mana off the Spire. So I can go Shredder, Breach, Thoughtseize, Bobble. I guess it's not that bad. Get the Thoughtseize, the Karn. Now, the thing is, we still need a win condition, which, uh, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out when we, when we come to it, but... Let's use your Karn. Play Bobble. Take a peek at what they're drawing. I guess I should have Bobbled first, but it doesn't matter. They're drawing a Scrying. I don't think I want to shred the Scrying. <clears throat> I think I'd rather have them draw that than a lot of other cards. Maybe not Karn specifically, but... Yeah, we found, we ha we found our win condition. It's in play. Oh, this is a blast. Yeah, like, I've, I've been enjoying... Gruel, I've been enjoying Gruel Vehicles. We're going to be working on some Goblins later today with Fable of the Mirror Breaker, which I think is kind of sweet. So different stuff. We really, just need to find a Saga. Saga, please. About a forest. I don't even want to put the bridge into play, because I think Saga's my only way out of this. So I'm just not going to play the bridge. <laughs> I guess I could start milling them. Shout out to the uh, person in chat that said Gigantha was going to matter, and I told them that it was not going to matter. <laughs> Would uh would love to have a Gigantha right about now. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty hyped for Fable Goblins. I mean, it makes a Goblin, you know. You should obviously just play it. Okay, that gets them Tron. But I have Bridge. Well, I just, I'm just not playing the Bridge. Like, I don't have to play the Bridge. Um, I think it's maybe still better to shred me in case I find Academy Ruins. They should add Breach to Goblins. Well, it's banned, in, it's banned in Pioneer. They don't let you play with that one. Okay. Drew the Ruins. Not that it's even that good, but it's something. Looping Beach Breach with Shredder is sick. Yeah, I guess if they pop the Blast Zone, I can sack the Shredder to get back Breach. But I also just don't have a lot of cards in my graveyard to really take advantage of this Breach. No, no, Pioneer, Pioneer. It's just that all I did on, on Spotify was it just search for Lo-Fi. I think it's called Lo-Fi Beats. But yeah, I just want some Lo-Fi today. We're chilling. Well, they, they stepped away to use the restroom for a little bit. What's up, Carnage? Again, thank you to Spike for the raid. Welcome, everybody. Appreciate all the new follows. If you're new here, be sure to hit that follow button. Would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Alright, I guess we're going to get back this breach. 
right? <laughs> Probably better than a bobble. I mean, I think we're still super dead this game. We have to find a Saga before they find any payoff. But we can't really, like, pressure their life total without Saga. And I think we're already down two Sagas? Yeah, we're already down two Sagas, so... It's gonna be a tough one. If only Breach let you play lands from the graveyard. Uh, I can't even cast the Breach. The only, the only way that I can cast the Breach is if I play Bridge, but... Again, as we talked about, I don't want to put the Bridge into play if Saga's my way out of this. I guess I can see what they drew. I don't know why they didn't cast that. Just thin their deck. Maybe they're worried about me besieging a Tron land. I guess that's fair. And they don't know which one they want to get. <clears throat> why am I wearing the jersey? Hmm. Good question. It's almost like I'm a fan of the Dallas Cowboys. That's how that works. All right, you win. We're dead. So, worst possible matchup. No big deal. We'll be fine. Hmm, guess I should stone brain them? Try to keep them off Tron, maybe? Yeah, you gotta put on your your Lantern of Insight shirt. You don't have one? Well, you can buy one at twitch.tv slash doomwake by subscribing. White Ninja, thank you so much for 23 months. One month for that two-year sub badge. I will never forget the the Tony Rombo, or Tony the, the moment where he, uh, he fucked up the snap on that, that kick. I, I, I have nightmares about that still. Well, you already have a badge. You just get a different, more fancy badge. We cut all the bridges against them, right? I think. Bring in, like, Kaya. Uh, probably Surgical. Bring in Jar or Spellskate as well, if I wanted to. Uh, we don't need the Lantern. All right, we're good with this. Well, he was also that was when he was a backup, right? I don't was he starting at that point? I can't remember. It's been so long that I the only image that I remember is him, you know, taking the snap, but I I want to say he was still a backup at that point, but I I can't exactly remember. Yeah, no, he yeah, he was a backup, I thought. The mana in this deck leaves something to be desired. Could have kept on the backup double inquisition, which is maybe still fine, but Yeah, the sand plays, I guess. It's like fast saga. I could have sworn that was the year before he started, but maybe I'm wrong. When I keep the six, because my only land was a colorless land. The six didn't do anything. I don't think I had a second land. Pretty sure. Pretty sure my only land was a was a colorless land. Was he a starter? I, I can't remember. All right, they have Karn on top, which we have to mill. Brian Kaya is not great. Needle's good. We'll take the needle. So we have to mill the Karn right now. So I can't beat it. Okay. Try to keep them off Tron, potentially. It's going to be difficult, but... We also just have this for Karn Liberated. So this sucks because they can draw the map. But if I, if I can sack the Lantern to make them not draw the map, but I just think it's inevitable that they're going to get Tron... The second card liberated. So the needle might be good. But we also know they have Besaju, so. Okay. Right now we know Karn Liberated and Besaju and Map. Yeah, Karn Liberated, Besaju, Map is what they have. So we don't actually have to needle now. Yeah, and tower. Well, I'm not sure how I want to play this. I kind of just want to make a Construct token, and then I can do stuff next turn. It's like, like, what I could do this turn is Needle on Map to try and cut them off Tron, or Needle on Besaju. But the issue with doing that is I'm not pressuring them. So I think I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to make a Saga token, and then try to do some stuff next turn. Are there any other modern decks in the docket today? No, no, just, th this is the only modern league that we're playing, and then we're going to play some uh, Goblins and Pioneer. How did the Giants beat the Vikings, by the way? Cityscape leveler. It's a little scary. Is uh, Unearth is an activated ability, is or is it not? Is Unearth a, an, an activated ability? It is. Hmm. Well, at that point, I could just mill the leveler and then needle it. Could go mill the leveler, needle leveler, needle Karn, because we know they have Karn in hand, too. 
Yeah, I think I have to do that. I can't let them draw the leveler. I could also find Surgical Extraction, maybe. I guess I wish I had kept the Soul Guide Lantern. I can also get a third needle off of the Saga, right? Yeah, I can also Kaya it. It's a good point. We can What we can do is we can just go make mana, get, get Needle. Needle, Karn Liberated, play Kaya. Kaya, eat the leveler. That's good. Because I don't have a land to, to go play the Needle plus Kaya from hand. Let's get Needle. Name Karn Liberated. And then go white, black, Kaya, eat the leveler, and I'm going to keep the Karn in the graveyard, so if I draw Surgical, I can Surgical Karn. I think I like this. I mean, the the problem with this line is if they have green mana, they can besiege you the Needle, but they can't, they can't make... Mm, actually, they can, right? No, they don't have enough, because if they play Tron Land, they have nine. One for Star down to 8, sack star, activate Besaju, 6 mana left over. They don't have enough to play Karn this turn, so. Elite quarterback Dan Jones. I mean, I don't know. The Giants are not that bad. I, I think that Minnesota is probably the most overrated team in the playoffs. I think Minnesota is not great. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, so they're drawing map, which I don't think I care about. I think they can, they can have map. Did they, oh, did they think that Karn discounted for Besaju? That's not how that works. I think they might have thought that. <laughs> Certainly don't want them drawing that Oblivion Stone. I'm good with that. Okay, you can have mine. That's okay. So we draw Bobble. Blast Zone. Well, I have two Needles in my hand. No, I have an Ashiok. So what if I named Beseju and Blast Zone? Name, because I have to name Beseju. And then I also named Blast Zone. Can I exile the map too? But it's a little scary, right? Or no, we, we did we know they have a second map? Yeah, we know they have a second map in hand, right? I have to name Blast Zone. I'm like 99% sure we know about a second map. Because it was the full art one. They have stone, I milled it. So let's just go exile map. I guess there's no reason to exile map if my plan is to just play both needles. Yeah, I think I just I think I still named Blast Zone though. But maybe I should have went upstairs with the Kaya. Cause like what's the point of what's the point of down ticking on on the map if I'm just gonna name Blast Zone anyways, right? Because then I could have ulted the Kaya next turn, and I would just have lethal. I think that's where I fucked up. They could go for the Tutor Land. Does the Tutor Land matter though? Maybe it does. Which I guess they're gonna do anyways. Like we knew about the other map in hand, right? Oh, that's why I have to name Blast Zone, yeah. Because we know about the second map. Sanctum. What can they really do with Sanctum, though? I guess they can play Worm Coil Engine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Joel. Oh, they're going to get Ulamog. Right. Right. I see. Right. Okay. And now they have two Ulapogs in hand. Hmm. So, now what? Well, this would have been a lot better had I upticked that Kaya, right? Kaya plus Construct. It's not lethal. I can't downtick the Kai, it's only a three loyalty. Had I plus last turn, I could have. Like, well, I'm trying to think of what my outs are. I don't know if I have outs. Well, it's not Blooming Marsh. Yeah, I didn't have work today. Hmm. This is my out. Do I have an out? Discard spell? Yeah, I could find Thoughtseize. Thoughtseize is my out. So I guess I have to cycle the bobble. Yeah, I think it has to be Thoughtseize. So I should shred away the stirrings. Because I know I have to find Thoughtseize. Probably even sack the Lantern. Nothing for land destruction? No. That's close. Doesn't quite do it, though. Yeah, I guess I could find Besaju, too. I think I'm supposed to sack this Lantern. Yeah, I think I should sack the Lantern. So it's Besaju or Thoughtseize, and I get two looks. Yeah, I, got, I had today off. Swamp Spire does not do it, so... And I guess... We don't know for certain that they have a land in hand, but they probably do. Could have kept Stirrings to find Besaju. Maybe, yeah. Uh, Stirrings doesn't hit Thoughtseize, but I only have one Besaju is the thing. I work in mortgages. Mm, okay, can work with this. Go Spire Lantern. They reveal Gigantha. It's really Tron again. Oh, this is Breach. I feel like this matchup is also pretty bad for us. 
Frog Swamp here is not terrible. Is Hammer Time a good matchup? Mm, depends on how fast you can get Breach into play. And you have to draw, like, a lot of it early interaction to keep them off of killing you. But once you get... Or not Breach, uh, Bridge. But once you get Bridge in play, then you're chilling. <laughs> My Yield Guide? No. Uh, so I could Inquisition Stirrings. But then I can't play the Saga. Or I could just go Saga, Shredder, Inquisition. Which I think I like that better, actually. Lead on Inquisition. Stream keeps freezing. I'm not dropping any frames. You sure it's not on your end? <laughs> Is anybody else having issues? Because I'm, I'm dropping no frames right now. Hmm. I have a Saga on top. This is tough. I guess I could just play the other Inquisition. And just take Ren and Breach. Yeah. Well, the issue is Ren, but I guess they can't play the Ren right now. We know they're drawing Saga. So maybe I can just let them have Ren for a turn. Oh, I can just mill over their land. <laughs> the problem is, if I mill the Saga and they draw a land that casts Ren, then it's pretty awkward. <laughs> so... <laughs> maybe I was supposed to Shred first. Yeah, let's take Breach, though. I think I think I was supposed to Shred first, the more that I think about it. Because I think if I shred first and they, they have another land on top, then I probably take the Ren now and then the Breach later. Yeah, see, this is awkward. So now they get to play Ren. But we can just Saga. We can Needle the Ren, so. I mean, I'm not going to crack the Lantern to shuffle them. I'll just, I'll let them play the Ren. Can I let them draw Saga? Yeah, but then they have a Saga. And I don't have a Bridge yet. So I think that's a little dicey. Maybe if I had a Bridge, then that's more of a reasonable line, but... So Station, Bobble, Amber, Grape Shot, Bolt, Fetch is their hand. <clears throat> uh, I think I'll take a Shredder. I think that's fine. Saga goes to Chapter 2. Let's just play Stirrings first. Uh, I guess we take a second Lantern. Stirrings on top. They have Station, Grape Shot, Bolt. Guess we take the Station? I'm not even sure that any of these cards matter, but... I'm going to let them draw Island, obviously. Yeah, because now they get back Saga. It's kind of an issue. The Bard Bark. So they draw Island. And that one I definitely do not want to let them draw. And he got below the Ragavan. Station? I think that one's kind of bad for me. Fucking hell. Uh, I guess I should have let them draw the station, huh? But they had back-to-back -back breaches. I was destined to lose this game anyways. Oh, they didn't have a breach in hand. Now that they've drawn a breach. Yeah, we're, we're probably dead. They just didn't have a breach in hand when I did all this. Any Pioneer tonight? Yeah, we're going to play Pioneer after this league. We're doing this for a dono. Uh, yeah, even. I think the new Nyssa is pretty bad. It just seems worse than Vivian Reed to me. Alright, Surgical. Maybe Cage. Probably Needle. Probably Relic. Maybe Stonebrain. Let's get their Breaches out of there. Breach is, is such a devastating card. Um, got like the Desk, the Baubles... Got the cookbook, trim an ending. Eh. No, I want to keep all the endings for Ren. Maybe the cage is too dicey. Go being a planeswalker, huh? Yeah, even like the Nissa who shakes the world is probably better than that. When's the vintage keep stream? We'll probably do that tomorrow. I want to play some Pioneer tonight, though. I know I still owe you a, uh, I still owe Panda a stipulation draft. But it's really hard to do the stipulation draft with specific cards. Because, like, if you just don't open that card, then you can't do the stip. But we could try and we we could do some vintage keep tomorrow. Aladish Nissa, which one is that? Vital Force, yeah, Vital Force is probably better. Stirrings, Needle, Surgical. I think this is fine. Turn. Proceed. I tried Super Friends and Pioneer. I think a while back we did, but only only a couple times. Not recently. There's no Goblin Walkers. It's because they'd be too good. All right. Cast Needle. They're going to fetch. Then I'm going to name Ren. I should have Lantern first, right? 
Yeah, I should have landed first. Let's see what their top card was. Spell Pierce. Yeah, you can have that. Is having fun a reportable offense? Only if it's in modern. You're not allowed to have fun in modern. Yeah, the new Tivar is sick. I'm super excited for that card. So sick of this fucking card. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, take my thoughtsies. There is a fun card. <sighs> Federation, Station, Saga, Pierce, Bale. They have two Sagas. I mean, we're, we're just dead. Like, who are we getting? We're dead. I feel like I would enjoy Modern Can you just tell me to play a good deck? When's the Pioneer Pro Tour? I think in a couple of months, month and a half, two months, something like that. Yeah, I'm good with this. I think I can put back my third land. Prowess is a good deck. Eh. <laughs> I'm kind. I'm kind of with you on that, Karate Dom. I'm like, uh, unironically, I'm kind of with you. All right, big shreds. This is what glimpse combo. Yeah, Prowess is probably fine. Maybe I'd enjoy Prowess, but. Scared. We're in the root wire amalgam bracket. Okay. Well, that's a good draw. Let's go Talisman Thoughtsies next turn bridge. I don't know what's going on over there, but Oh, so it is Glimpse. Shit. Well uh I guess we take one of the shardlesses, right? Oh. <laughs> Even the O3 decks aren't fun. <laughs> I mean, I respect what my opponent's doing. They're doing some cool shit. But it's just like more Cascade bullshit, you know? How much different is this than all the other Cascade decks? It's just kind of all the same to me. With like Spike's Ave Storm deck. But I... I don't enjoy playing Mono Green and Pioneer. Isn't it just like a modern Mono Green Devotion deck? Lonus's Token Factory. Yeah, I'm just... I'm all set. I'm all set with that. Playing Fable. Okay. Bet. Fable is two permanents for Glimpse. <clears throat> Prismatic Ending. Uh, I think it's better to just triple spell here. Just go Ending, Token, Lantern, Needle. I don't even know what I Needle. I guess reflection. Go. Mm, mm, mm. Losing isn't fun. I mean, even when I win in modern, I, I'm still not having fun. Try playing pioneer decks geared to modern, like mono green, grease, fang, winota. I don't know. It's just like, I don't know. Again, it's not that the decks that I'm playing aren't necessarily fun. It's just like the cards that I'm playing against are also not fun. Like I just, I just, you know, you only get hit by a ragavan so many times before you just get sick of it only get furied so many times before you're just off it. You know what I mean? Brent Stirrings for a land. It's a good land. Alright, well, uh, I probably did. <laughs> You'd have named a fetch here? Maybe. <clears throat> Why not just start hitting people with Ragavan? Because that's also not that fun. Yeah, at least they can't attack us. <laughs> Alright, well, what's the, what's the worst that could happen? Get hit by Ragavan, but you get paid to do it. Hmm. Okay. I mean, they still have to show me that they can beat a bridge. Yeah, they can put all their they can put their whole deck into play, but I guess they can like primeval titan for Velikits maybe is their plan. We can fizzle this. Yes, we could. We could lantern, which I guess is probably fine, right? Yeah, probably fine. Should have let all the provisioner triggers resolve first, but. Yeah, they have a million food and a million treasures, but they have no cards in hand. They cannot attack. I don't even think that they're playing Valakid. Unless they're playing Dryad. Yeah, I don't I don't even think they're playing Valakid. They might they might just not be able to beat this bridge. Weirdly enough. How do we win? We just mill them out. We have a win condition in play. 
Yeah, they, I guess they could kill us with Omnath. But again, they're hellbent. They have to draw the Omnath, right? Like, I'm going to mill myself looking for a Lantern. Another Shredder. Okay. Oh, I guess we can just Saga for the Lantern, too. Which is also probably fine. Violent Outburst to buff the plants. That's only four damage, though. To get a second Shredder to speed up the clock. I mean, at this point, I should probably just be shredding them. Two red, three red. What the hell is this? What on earth? Yeah, it's fine. The idea behind the Underworld Cookbook is so you can get yourself Hellbent for Ensnaring Bridge. Yeah, that card doesn't matter. Oh no, Moto is literally breaking right now. <laughs> oh god. There's no way this game's gonna be able to finish before Moto crashes. It's just not possible. Alright, I'll make a blocker, even though it's the most irrelevant blocker in the history of time. And build a Violent Outburst, which is probably good for us. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna get the Lantern. See your other good or bad idea I post in the modern channel on the Discord? I haven't seen it yet, JS. Alright, let's get Lantern. What are you drawing? You were drawing a Seasoned Pyromancer. I probably don't want to let them have that one, because that's just two more looks. Alright, that one you can F. <laughs> I've already played my land in F6, but there's like a... <laughs> it's like a 10 second lag. Oh my god. <laughs> should I restart? If they're going to play it out, I should probably restart. <laughs> we have another Pyromancer on top, but we could just smell that. And yeah, the game is struggling. I mean, there's like 5,000 permanents in play, so... Gruel Storm is probably good. Uh, okay, untap. Pixis is good. I want the Pixis. Yeah, I have to restart. This is this is bad. I hit okay, and there's just like a 10-second lag. <clears throat> Stakes are too high. Yeah, just hanging out in the O3 bracket. Don't forget, chat. While we have a second. While we have a, a break to shill. Don't forget about Primes. Friends don't let friends forget about Primes. Still... <laughs> <laughs> it's still back. I thought the lag would go away. It's still there. I know, right? Yeah, 100 is just way too much. Jawagger, thank you for the prime. Three months, buddy. Appreciate you. Okay, who's, uh, who, what phase are we in? I don't even know. It says upkeep, but... Oh, it's my upkeep. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. All right, Pixis. Okay, the lag seems to have gone. Kinda. I'm gonna exile the Pyromancer. Mmm, I kind of don't want to let them have Fable either. Fuck. Do I have to sack the Lantern? Here's the thing, they haven't shown us a fourth color yet. We don't know for, for a fact that they're playing Omnath. What if I just let them have Outburst? I'm just going to let them have Outburst and see what happens. I also kind of just want to see if the client can actually handle it. Because if they cast Outburst, I'm just going to go get, take a piss. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna go to the bathroom, and then when I come back, maybe Magic Online crashed, maybe not, but we'll figure, we'll see what happens. I'll be right back. They just didn't even cast it. What the hell? Oh, okay. They just didn't even cast it. <laughs> Word. All right. Uh, draw. I turned my back and then immediately turned past back to me. I guess they just didn't want to cast it. I don't know. Mill you. All right, you can have a forest. I accept. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. Oh, they have a fetch. I shouldn't have six. I have a stop on their upkeep. It's fine. Not cracking the fetch. Yeah, you could you could post in Discord, JS. I don't know if I'm going to have time to take a look at it now, but... Imperial Recruiter. I don't really know what that could get, but... I would like to draw the Shredder, so I'm not going to activate Pixis. Oh, you're saying they might just deck themselves if they cast the Upburst? Like, they just lose the game? Maybe, yeah. Uh, could have maybe pixis that. It's probably fine to keep it. Uh, I, I, I don't really know what this Recruiter can get, but I guess I'll mill it. Got you, JS. Well, I'm not going to mill this Outburst if they didn't cast the other one, so... I guess I'll just let them draw it. I, I assume it's a blank. Probably wave sifter, maybe. Um, uh... yeah, I guess they just lose the game if they if they cast the the outburst. I wonder if they even have it out. It might not. Yeah, that's true. 
Well, there's also cards that make them cantrip, right? So if they put every permanent on, in their deck onto the battlefield, the cards that cantrip just makes them lose that, that same turn, right? So they would just, like, actually lose the game if they cast it. Well, I don't want to do that. <clears throat> Can use them to draw a fresh card. Use what? Oh, the, the recruiter is just a search. Yeah, to shuffle, like, the top card of their library. It's possible. Now they scooped. On the board. <clears throat> well, that's the thing, Bailey. They didn't show us a single white land. So I don't even know if they're playing Omnath. I think they're just playing Teemer. Yeah, Cage is good. Cage do be good. Yeah, they had Primeval Titans, so... I guess that would make sense as to why they don't have Omnath. Maybe they just cut it for prime time. Yeah, we definitely can't call our opponent a pain in the ass. We're 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 playing with uh it's staring Bridge Lantern Vincent. I think we're the we're the bad guys this league. So Cage good. Uh Stonebrain probably good. Chalice good for Cascade. Needle seems kinda mid. I don't know if I want a third one. I don't even know if I want the second one. Like the only card I actually want to name is Basagi, right? What's up, ape shit? Surgical probably good. Oh, right. I guess I see what you're saying. They can Outburst, not Cascade, and just get a fresh card. I gotta cut four cards. First Mana King's probably bad, right? Yeah, we're chilling. Let's go. Thoughtseize, Shred, Shred, Cage, no green. I mean, Thoughtseize, Cage is good, I think. Look, green mana. I don't have to cast Thoughtseize this turn. kind of just want to play Cage. No, that's worse if they have the two mana evoke creature. I'll just play Shredder. Then I can thought to use Cage next turn. Yeah, but I don't I don't want to play the Cage in case they have the Foundation Breaker. You usually want to mill yourself because you have ruins. Uh let us go Swamp Thoughtseize. Their hand does not seem very good. I think I'm taking either Fable or Pyromancer. Probably just Fable. And then play Cage. Fable's easier to cast. If they draw a land, it won't necessarily be a red source. Is there a Glimpse Ultrasi Conscription deck in the O3 bracket? Well, they didn't show us Conscription, but who knows? Maybe that should be the new Glimpse deck, right? You just play Glimpse plus Storm Herald. And you have Pyromancer and Fable to enable your Storm Heralds. You could also play Haggle. Milling Lantern is good if we draw Blue Source. Uh, I think I'm just down to get the bridge into play. It's just the best use of my mana. And then we can Stirrings for a Blue Source next turn to get the full lock established. Did I just make a fun modern deck? Well, this isn't my deck. This is a donation deck. And I also, I didn't make Lantern. Was Canister the first person to ever play it? I think it was. We do... I did bring in both of my jars, I think. No, I didn't board them in. I should have boarded in at least one. Oh, it was Elsick. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, it was Elsick. Correct. I think he did build a Grand Prix with it, right? Yeah, it's also not fun at all. <laughs> this is the entire opposite of fun. That's that's why it's a joke. Get it? Joke. I, this is usually a no-joke stream, but can make an exception today. Got bobbled first. They have what? Foothills on top? Bet. <laughs> Every time I draw this breach, I'm just like, why Why are we playing with this card again? All right, no blue source. Uh... All these cards kind of suck. I guess I could take the second bridge for insurance. Just maybe fine. Uh, get out of here. Keck by. So they have shardless, pyromancer, outburst, shardless, and then land on top. Yeah, exactly. Breach is unironically worse than Noxious Revival for us. Yeah, I know. Or just, you know, a, a blue producing land. Once we're not sure we're worried about removal for bridge. I guess I could have just taken a land there. Maybe that would have been fine. This card's kind of scary. <clears throat> could have taken that instead of the Borrower, but the Borrower is a more direct answer to the bridge. Able to. Jeez. So we still know they have shardless. Good to hear, JS. Good to hear. Talisman. Just want blue mana. Saga would have been good. Okay, blue mana acquired. 
Um, oh, wait, I could just breach here. Wait, this breach is insane. What the hell? Holy shit. <laughs> this breach is cracked. Oh, no, it's not, because I have a cage in play. <laughs> oh, man. All right, breach go. <laughs> Oh, uh, that was that was awesome. That was great. Look, I just wanted to get my hand empty, okay? I just wanted to get my hand empty. Cast Bobble. Uh, you should read Grafteer's Cage. Well, I should have read it too, but, you know. I'm just trolling them. Okay. That's bad. Hopefully they go after the bridge. Ooh. I like that. We have a second bridge. So, I guess we take a bunch of damage. Let's cage in the deck for anyways. It's to stop the, the glimpse of tomorrows. But I hadn't realized that you're supposed to cut the breach when you when you bring the cage in. But I will remember that for game three if we go there. But yeah, it's it's good against it's, it's good at stopping glimpse. Alright, don't have a second answer, please. Pretty please. So can copy that with Fable. Not this turn. I have I have one turn of reprieve from them doing that. But I don't actually have an answer to that in my graveyard. And I haven't milled over a needle. So I can't, like, ruins back needle and name reflection. No, not yet. No needle yet. I'm going to keep shredding myself to try and find needle. Mill myself. Desk is not awful. Okay, so upkeep, I'm going to mill myself twice again. Just looking for needle that I can ruins back. Lantern. So do any of these cards help me against Reflection, Foundation Breaker? Because if not, I might just have to take a draw step. I can... Uh, can I desk? Is Unearth cast? It just says return this card from here to the battlefield. I can still Unearth desk, right? Yeah, I think I can. It says players can't cast spells from graveyards, but Unearth is not casting a spell, right? And it's also not a creature. So I think I can still Unearth. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So I guess we just take a draw step, and then I get three looks at Needle with the desk. Tilt. Well, actually, that's not a tilt at all. Mm. It's kind of, I feel like this is like the playing to lose line. I do have to spend three mana on the desk. I'm thinking like worst case scenario, I could hit, at least hit a land off of the desk to be able to play the second bridge and not be dead on board. There's more text on that card. What do you mean? Can almost loot bridges forever now. With the with the the ruins, no, I'm a man of short, right? Because if I upkeep activate ruins, I only have two to play the bridge. So I think what I have to do is desk, either hit needle, or if I brick on needle, hit a land. Okay, we're dead. Hmm. Yeah, we're dead. Damn it. Okay. Well. Uh. Yeah. So we're cutting the breach. <laughs> Let's get the get the breach out of there. I think having, like, one jar is good, too. Talisman could probably go. Alright, one jar is good. Maybe two jars? Yeah, two jars is good because we don't need Bobble as much if we're cutting Breach. I think Bridge digs another card, though, by letting us desk next turn. Yeah, but what I'm saying is if I just hit a land off of the desk, then it's the same thing. Right? And also, if I hit a land off of the desk, I have the loop set up where I just have six mana to just go upkeep, put Bridge on top, cast Bridge, and I can just do that every turn for the rest of the game. I only had five mana, so I didn't have the loop set up. So I, I need a land anyways. 420 viewers, nice. <clears throat> Play more modern decks of old, and if we do not go 05, we consider that a success. No. No, we're just going to be Pioneer. I'm going to I'm gonna dip my toes into Arena 2. I'm going to try and play some Explorer, maybe some Standard. But yeah, we're just going to be like pi basically Pioneer only, some Explorer, some Standard on the side, and then only playing modern for donation decks. Because that's what I want to do. And trust me when I say the stream is going to be much more entertaining if I'm having a good time. Like, you will notice that when I play Modern, <laughs> and I'm genuinely not having a good time, the stream suffers. So, and you don't know a Popper deck. Uh, no. I don't want to play Popper. Oh, so is this Caleb's list, JS? I'm looking at the, the red-green list. I, I know Caleb Sharer posted a, a Gruel Storm deck. I think he got 11th in the challenge. Yeah, I can at least justify it to myself playing it for donation decks because, you know, people are paying me for the most part. But the only reason that we're at this viewer count is because we got a spike raid. Without the spike raid, my, my viewer count has been, like, really declining as of late. 
which sucks because I, you know, I've been playing Pioneer and it's it's declining. I just think that, I don't know, maybe maybe I just have a dead stream. How much for a Dark Souls stream? I play some Clone Hero, lose internet or something. People like to watch modern. They do. Doesn't mean I like to play it. Yeah, I also wonder. I'm gonna restart Magic Online. I also wonder if I would just like, if my viewer count would increase if I started playing Arena. Because there, I'm sure there are a lot of people who like. There are a lot of people who only watch arena content maybe i can like tap into that viewer base but like i've been saying you know i really want to go back to full-time streaming but with these numbers i just can't and i don't know i don't know what i'm doing wrong i have to be doing something wrong like is my content just bad all right play first magic content seems to be down in general maybe yeah well i mean i think like for the average sub count that I would need to justify, like having this as my primary source of income would be somewhere between like six and 700, which is like double where we're at now. I was streaming full time back right before I took the the job. My sub count was right around like seven, seven fifty. And I was like, I did. I, I have thought about that. I mean, I kind of didn't want to spoil it, but I've been thinking about quitting my job. Saving that for an announcement. I haven't made an official decision yet, but I've been thinking about it. Uh, borrower or breaker? The borrower is harder to interact with, but the breaker gets my saga. The breaker. The back corner of my closet by the end of the night. You shut up, Brad. But if I if I do go back to full time streaming, I would certainly I would probably very strongly consider doing a subathon. Yeah, it did. Don't all magic numbers go down this time of year? Yeah, I mean. It, I think numbers in general usually go down this time of year, like right after the holiday season, because like people are kind of tapped out from Christmas. So maybe it's just everybody's numbers are down. I really don't know. So I could go Lantern Spire Stirrings, or I could, yeah, I think that's fine, actually. Like not getting the Saga to play this turn kind of sucks, but take, I really need a third bridge. Just take Bobble, maybe? It's probably better to just take a land, TBH. Tiger Joe, thank you very, very much for the Twitch Prime. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Well, thank you, Tiger Joe. I appreciate that. Thank you for the kind words. Yeah, it might just be like that time of the year, you know? Landline of Sanctity. Oh, shit. Wait, can we beat that? If they just hard cast that, how do we beat it? I guess we have Abba Seiju. Yeah, Owen oh, 3 white people sad. Is there any format that's fun right now? I, I'm i having a great time playing Pioneer, but I know it's a very unpopular opinion. Wait, they shuffled it away. Ultiville, thank you for the gift that's on. Appreciate the support. Thank you, thank you. It's very, very kind of you. Very generous. <laughs> Doom hates Modern. Also, Doom plays Lantern Control. Look, it's a Dono deck, okay? Right, they're just going to fire it off? Maybe it's the... Oh, it's the jersey. That's what it is. I mean, Dallas is playing today. I can't not, I can't not wear the jersey. I've, I've heard a couple of people say that Standard is good, too, which I'm excited for because I have to start playing Standard to prepare for the San Diego Regional Championship, so I'm going to have to get into Standard at some point. Spike, are you qualified for that? Because we should, like, test Standard together if you are, or if you're intended on going. The uh, Legacy Super Qualifier qualified me for San Diego. Okay, Chapter 2... Uh, they have a Titan on top, which is... Obviously, I don't care about that. I guess we just play second bridge. <clears throat> Yo. Model White going to be insane with Elishnorn? Yeah, I, I would imagine Elishnorn's going to be busted in standard, right? If there was a good client to stream EDH. I know. It is it is surprising. I mean, it's not really surprising, but it is crazy how well the EDH content does on YouTube. I just could never get into EDH. Do you really think that that many people are going to play Obliterator in Standard? Because the mana fixing doesn't really support, like, you have to play Mono Black, which maybe that's fine. Like, I'm sure, there's probably enough good black cards, but then, like, Obliterator's competing with Shieldred in the 4-drop slot. Like, you, how, how many 4-drops can you really play? And I don't think that it's better than Shieldred. All of them? Classic. Okay, I guess we'll draw this Inquisition just so I can go Hellbent. Just make mana, get shreds, Inquisition you. That's actually a really good draw step, too. 
What's this? Red. Are they going to outburst in response? Okay, that's fine. Oh, I should have just got Cage. Why did I not just get Cage? This was dumb. Yeah, I should have just gotten Cage. Because then if I had Caged them... Yeah, that was bad. Flashback that... I mean, I have three bridges, so it can't be that bad. Right? I guess they're going to Glimpse again. It all depends on if they hit um, Foundation Breaker. How do I have five minutes on my clock, by the way? I think Obliterator will see Pioneer play. I think it's the same problem in Pioneer. It's like the model black decks really want to play Shieldred, and I, I don't think the card is better than Shieldred. Pioneer is different because the mana fixing might allow you to play like a two color a two color obliterator deck. I don't know what the, the the next best color would be to go with that, but okay, we can beat the leyline because we have Besiege. I like that there's an Inquisition on the stack with a leyline in play. I find that pretty hilarious. Like people are uh, always people have been talking about like playing obliterator with fight spells, but then you have to play like a black green mid range deck and you kind of already wanted to play shieldred anyways as your four drop so i just i don't know i don't know if i buy it yeah it's just like rakdos mid range with with obliterator that is the, that is nice that fable provides you mana fixing for for obliterator so that's kind of cool like maybe that's worth it <clears throat> all right glimpse again i still have yet to hit a foundation breaker surely they'll hit it on this one okay two more dark dwellers but no more glimpses and only one breaker Okay, now we have to somehow... I don't think we're going to have enough time to win this game is the, the issue. I can F6 because I have a mana floating. Well, thank you, JS. I appreciate that, buddy. Yeah, I realized that right after. <laughs> but yeah, I should have F6 right after. Yeah, I, I, I burned a little bit of time that I didn't have to. I think the where I'm most excited for the new Tivar is Pioneer Elves. So then we go play land, play bridge. I've already have six. So now we have to find Basaju, and we can get Basaju back with Shredder to double Basaju them. Again, I just don't think I have time to win this game. It's the issue. Like, yeah, they're just gonna have six. Yeah, devoted druid. Like it's it's powerful with cards that tap for a lot of mana. Think like like I wanted to pair it with either Elvish Arch Druid in Modern or Circle of Dreams Druid in Pioneer. Just giving that thing haste is really, like, the reason that people don't play Circle is because it's a 2-1 that just dies every time. But when it has haste, it's like, if you have six or seven creatures in play, it's just a ritual, you know? Which, there's no rituals in Pioneer. That that just doesn't exist. So, I could see it being super powerful with, uh, with Circle. Let's see if I have a link. I have a link. There you go. I have another Breaker on top, which I can't mill because they have a stupid Ley Line. I could surgical their ley lines, I guess. Sure. Oh no, I could surgical foundation breaker. That's better. Yeah, you can cocoa with you can cocoa circle too, which is nice. All right, they have no breakers left. I don't have time to look at their deck list. <laughs> I just have to spam F six until I find a beside you. Also, of course, Magic Online is lagging again. <sighs> Classic. Maybe what I'm supposed to do is just remove all of my stops and try to time them out. No more Leylands a deck. Oh, that doesn't work because they have Reflection plus Foundation Breaker. Yeah, there's too many problems here. On top of the fact that I just don't have time to think about anything because I have four and a half minutes on my clock. Maybe given infinite time I could win this game. But yeah, I'm just going to scoop. All right. To the surprise of absolutely nobody, we're 0-4. Man, what a what a what a turnaround from the last time I played this deck. <laughs> last Lancer. We're playing into another 0-3. Okay, this hand's pretty bad, I think. Yeah, this hand's bad. I mean, this hand's not great, but I think it's better than the first hand. Put all your points on yes. All of them? What does a good hand look like? Well, start to first and foremost, at least two lands. That's step one. I'm going to play Lantern here, because I don't want to... I don't want my bubble just getting Prismatic Endinged. Watch us queue into the main deck Force of Vigor opponent. Oh. Elementals? I think this is a good matchup? I have no idea. Maybe not. 
Oh. Oh, I guess it could be blue eye control, yeah. Ending for my lantern. This is beginning of end step, right? So I can sack the bobble of my end step. Yeah, I can sack the bobble of my end step. Um, I definitely don't want them drawing pending. Spike ruin the no odds. <laughs> Classic spike. Watch them still have a pending on top. That's pretty bad for me, too. Land. Good. Uh, do I play around them drawing second pending? I think I should. It's nice that they played basic plane, so I don't even have to shot. I don't even have to mill this. Because I can just take it next turn. Completed Jace. Is that confirmed that they're completing Jace? Jace was one of the good ones. How could they do this? White people sad in the chat for Jace. They just had a second prismatic ending anyways. Do I have a Glimmer Void on top? Do I want to draw a Glimmer Void? No, I kind of just want to draw an artifact. Well, shit. I guess that means that if they blow up the lantern somehow, then at least get to have two mana still. Pixis isn't awful. They are elementals, so I don't really care about the dress down. I'm just going to take Charm and then Thoughts East the Omnath. Just go Hellbent. <clears throat> okay, so their hand sucks. They're drawing Trium. Well, they might fetch, but... Spoiled. Nine of the ten walkers already. Four of them are completed. Hmm. But it's all speculation on who's going to be completed, right? Well, except for the ones they spoiled already, obviously. All right, can have it. <laughs> Triple prismatic ending, huh? Off Tibar, Kaya, the Emperor, and Kaido are all spoiled and not completed. Off Tibar, Kaya, the Emperor, and Kaido. Yeah, 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 okay. They're not casting it? Maybe they'd rather kill the Pixis? I guess that makes sense. They also stone rain me for whatever that's worth. Uh, I think I'm going to let them draw Counterspell. I don't really care about that card. So, you know, they have Dress Down Counterspell. Well... Dress down, pending in hand, counterspell on top. It may or may not cycle the dress down. You can draw counterspell. Dress down, pending, counterspell. I'm just going to dismiss this. I can, re I can remember it. So I guess they're killing the Pixis. I, I feel like they are supposed to kill the Lantern there. I don't know. The completed Jace will just cost four blue Phyrexian mana. Well, then it would enter the battlefield with no loyalty, right? They Kahiring? Pending hold up counterspell. All right. Stirring's not bad. Well, I guess we know they have Counterspell. Maybe we'll just time them out at this rate. Oh, they didn't counter it. Uh, I guess we will take Inventor's Fair, maybe? And if I draw more artifacts, I can eventually sack the fair. Okay, bridge on top is kind of a brick. So we know their last two cards are Dress Down plus Counterspell. And they have Flooded Strand on top. They'll have Flash and be able to minus two Counterspell. <laughs> it will just say, you may activate Jace's loyal abil loyalty abilities at instant speed. <laughs> that'll, be the, that'll be the static. You can, like, plus on both players' turn, which I guess they did with Teferi, right? Uh, the shitty Teferi that nobody plays. What's that one called? It's the five minute one, right? I think. Bridge. Go. Oh, the ma the master of time. Master! Master! If the card resolves, you win the game instantly. Oh, so Ragaban. Ren and six. Well, you have pending for that. You know their last card is a Bant Triome. Okay, it's a creature that attacks. Yeah, I mean, at this rate, we might just time them out. I mean, why did they complete anything? It's just, like, it's the lore, right? It's the lore behind the March, or, you know, Phyre the Phyrexians, I guess. So if they're gonna if they're gonna reintroduce a Phyrexian set, it, it kind of makes sense to do that. It's just part of the lore. Alchemy has not had a standard legal rare mythic rebalance since last April. Does anybody even care about Alchemy anymore? I feel like I used to really enjoy playing Historic. That's another format that I think really just kind of tanked. Took a big dive. And I mean, part of that is introducing, like, the the alchemy cards into Historic, you know? I feel like 
Okay, here's my opinion, and maybe this is an unpopular, or maybe this is a popular opinion. I don't even know, because I don't play enough Arena. But what if they just have... Okay, so think of Arena as, like... Arena has their own formats, but think of it like Vintage, you know, Modern Legacy Pioneer, right? So Vintage is Alchemy, right? Historic is Legacy without the Alchemy card. So it's like, think of, you know, Vintage is Vintage, but then Legacy is basically Vintage without power. Think of Alchemy being Vintage, and then Historic is Alchemy without power. Or, excuse me, Historic is Alchemy without the fancy Alchemy cards. Explorer is Pioneer, and then Standard is Standard. That's, I think that would, I think the, the, the overall experience would be a lot better if that was the case. The number one deck in the number one deck in historic is Goblin Charbelcher. Seriously? Oh yeah, they have that card that like conjures the power nine into your deck. <clears throat> People play Goblin Charbelcher in historic. Hold on, I gotta look at historic deck list now. I have to I have to look at a historic Goblin Charbelcher deck. Where can I find historic? Oh, here it is, historic. Uh, it's not on Goldfish. Yeah, there's like nothing on Goldfish. Where do you find historic results? Deck lists. I'm going to melee. Maybe I can find them on melee. <laughs> yeah, they don't know where to find historic either. So I went to the melee historic page. There's four tournaments, and the number of participants is 12, 9, 6, and 7. So, uh, you know. Golgari Control. Armorglaive, Shigeki, Push, Kling, March, Trophy, Expertise, Thoughtsies, Inquisition, Command Pulse, Re they have, There's fucking Regrowth?! Regrowth, my brother in Christ. Goblin Trap Finder. I don't even want to read this. I don't even want to read this card. 1-1 one, one for 1, but it dies. Seek a creature card with mana value 3 or less. Perpetually. Yeah, I, I'm sorry for you, or I'm happy for you, but I ain't, I ain't reading all that. It's just not happening. Those aren't real decks. I mean, they're historic decks. They're legal in the historic format. You know what? Seek, seek these nuts. That's what I'm saying. Do I want them drawing charm? Probably not. <laughs> yeah, seek and perpetually. I have had enough. Well, I uh, guess I wish I would, you know, let them draw the charm in that case. All right, let's go back to melee. Let's explore some more lovely historic decks. Yeah, I have six. I'm still probably going to time them out. TBH. All right, let's go back here. So we looked at Rakdos Combo and Golgari Control. How about Bant Control? Uh, it's just Turbo Fog. Bro, Haze of Pollen. Vitalize Opt Growth Spiral Approach. This deck is so toxic. Nexus of Fate is legal in this format? Or is this a different Nexus? I don't see Nexus of Fate. This is just devotion. There's a fucking crater hoof behemoth. Uh, Marwyn's Kindred? Conjure a card named Marwyn the Nurturer and X cards named Planet. <laughs> what the fuck? This is just, these aren't, these aren't cards. Orzhan Fiorion. The Hourglass Coven. When it enters the battlefield, draft, draft a card from the Hourglass Coven's spellbook twice. Okay. Uh, squirrels? Cool. Squirrels and rats. Your opponent, your pioneer blue eyed opponent just main phase cycled the farmland, the Narset. Oof. You love to see it. What card is fucked up? What's this tweet? Best decks in the historic best of one format, tracked by untapped. It's just an image. Where's the link? Oh, here it is. Oh, it's a video? No, I want I want decklist. I don't want a YouTube video. Elves, I guess? Does elves look normal? Uh, Vengeful Reaper. Kami of Bamboo Groves. I don't know what any of those cards are. What is what is happening? I'm so confused. Right, let's look at the next tournament. Anything fancy? Mono Green Ramp. This Naya Midrange. They let you play with Minsk and Boo in Historic. Are you fucking kidding me? That's a joke, right? That's that's just a joke. Oh, it's nerfed because it cost five mana. Oh, surely. 
Surely that'll be that'll make a difference. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What is happening right now? Like what what is what is, do they have like a vision on historic? What do they want it to be? That just doesn't even look it look it looks like it, it's not a real format. It's less of a real format than Commander is. Commander is a real format, but made a better Delver. I just I just can't. As soon as I saw Minskin boot being legal, I'm just like, yeah, I'm just I'm done. I just can't. I don't know, I don't know anything anymore. It's to get the Hearthstone players. No, it's not going to be a historic stream, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, I think it, the only reason I'm still playing out this match is for the the prediction. But I do think that we're going to time our opponent out. If there wasn't a gamble, I would have already conceded by now for life equity, but and they just scooped. <laughs> Alrighty. Paid actor, I guess. Alright, let's bring in Kaya. All that, and they just scooped anyways. <clears throat> Paid actor. Spike, did you vote yes or no? Hold on, what did you vote? You voted... You voted no? Oh, I see what happened. So Spike paid our opponent to concede. Oh, I see. Classic Spike. I think this breach has never been good. Well, the one time that it was good was when I had a crafter's cage play. Oh, man. Voted for the O5. Spike is our opponent. Playing slow on purpose. Yeah, Spike's burner account. Made a 1 minute 3 3 flying in blue. I, I still am just mind boggled that Minsk and Boo is legal and fucking historic. Like, I just don't even. I just can't. I literally just can't. Okay, well. Yeah, yeah, they get paid off by Spike, I guess. Congratulations, Spike. You played yourself. Ha 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 